clowns. I hate them so much, they try so hard to be happy and funny, but just come off as disturbingly creepy. And I would say I'm not the only one who thinks this, being that there's a bunch of killer clowns in pop culture, like Pennywise, Sweet Tooth, Killer Clowns from Outer Space, and so many others. Now if you're afraid of clowns like I am, you do not have to be afraid of the movie we're going to talk about in this video. In fact, this movie is so bad, it will probably cure your fear of clowns. Now the movie I'm going to be talking about today is a movie you probably never heard of because it was a straight to DVD film from 2006. But hey, I guess it did pretty well because it got a reboot just three years later. But no, you're not going to fix this that easily. I'm going to talk about the original because it's just so juicy. So let's do this. Let's watch one of the worst films in cinematic history, Mr. Jingles. So the movie starts off pretty normal, pretty boring. Nothing really is going on. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. He's just... Oh, he, he's, he's just killing everyone, isn't he? Why are we still here? Should we be on our way towards Northville by now? This is where we want to be. Yeah, we're just standing right in front of this random house for no reason that may coincidentally have a home invading clown murdering everyone inside. Just pure coincidence. I'm just, I, I'm just speechless. Oh, geez, calm down, man. She already had her guts fall out of her. Okay, that's not even clever. Angie's actually hiding in her closet. Not the greatest hiding place because she left the closet door wide open. And surprise, surprise, Mr. Jingles finds her. <laughs> what was that? Come on, Mr. Jingles didn't even try to stop her. <laughs> you fell on your dead mother. Oh, this is awkward. Hey, what's over there? Oh, thank God the cops are just waiting outside still, just in case someone was getting murdered. Wait for backup. We're gonna need it. You know what? You showed him, man. You work hard. You want a snack? You want a promotion, buddy? Then Mr. Jingles kills this guy, and the amount of fear on her face, man, you can really tell she is truly terrified. Pfft, was that a gunshot or a confetti can? Let's hear that again. Also, look at him go for that Emmy on the death twitch. He just has that jiggling fever. And I watched Mr. Jingles kill my father. And then... Wow, that's just fascinating. One quick question though. Who are you and what are you doing in my house? How about you just leave? Uh, just just get out of here. Sounds great. Don't you sass me, woman. You broke into my house. It then cuts to Angie's cousin Dylan's emo gang, and they're just smoking weed. Not smoking weed, because weed is bad, kids. Those are, um, uh, th those are smarties. They're smoking smarties. Do kids still do that? So basically, this gang of hardcore emo kids are the second villain of the story, and they want to terrorize the girl who just witnessed her entire family get murdered for fun. You know, just normal teenage stuff. Also, I think it's hilarious how Dylan is like a hardcore goth metal guy, and his sister is just a preppy blonde chick. You can really tell that life's just been a struggle for him. You better knock that shit off, losers. What happened to Angie is nothing you half-baked assholes should be talking about. And by the way, mom called. She'll be home in three minutes. Okay, the person you want to focus on is the goth chick because her reaction is just, just priceless. Yeah, just act like nothing happened, even though his mom isn't even in the room. So they hitch up a plan to crash Angie's party, dress up as Mr. Jingles, and scare the crap out of her. Because, why not? What's even more stupid about this is that the goth chick, her name is Mal, by the way, but I'm just gonna call her the goth chick, just really wants to traumatize Angie for some reason. I don't even think she knows her. You're not thinking about calling off the party tonight, are you? I just don't know if it's a good idea anymore. I mean, she, she, she just got back. Wow, a person with an actual brain and morals. Didn't think I'll see that in this movie. Listen, Dylan, this is our chance to blow the collective minds of this f***ing town. Yeah. This year we can scare the shit out of everyone. Yeah. Mr. Jingles lives again. Jingles, 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 Jingles. Thank you. I'm glad someone said it. It then cuts to some random guy talking to someone's grave. I don't understand either. Thanks for nothing. Wow, is that any way to talk to the deceased? Have some respect, sir. Gets pretty lonely up here sometimes, you know? The only thing you ever left me was a 
alcoholic gene. I don't think that's a gene. I think that's just bad decisions. Anyways, the only reason this character exists is so that he can get murdered by Mr. Jingles. That's it. That's his only purpose. There is no reason for this scene. We then learn the reason for why Mr. Jingles went on his killing rampage from some weird guy that looks like a homeless person. But this guy right here, he's just the best thing in this movie. I just love the way he talks. Listen. What you saw that night when Mr. Jingles murdered that family, he escaped to take his revenge. Revenge for what? Stay the back. Yeah, stay back! You're so aggressive! How dare you respectfully ask me a question? Calm down, man! Just calm down! Mr. Jingles almost died at the hands of James Randall and a handful of others. They thought he was a pervert, trying to abduct young Angie after her fourth birthday party. They brutally beat him half to death. Middle of the street in front of the Randall house. Well, I would probably beat the crap out of someone as well if I caught them trying to abduct the child. Only after did they realize the truth. He was framed. How do you frame that? How do you mistake someone for abducting your child? Wait a second, is that my... Is that my child? Stop that man, he stole my child! Ugh. Oh, wait a second, that's not my baby. Oh, oh, my bad. I'm so sorry, I thought you stole my child. Is that uh, the emoji movie on Blu-ray in German? Oh, pff, my bad, I totally thought you were kidnapping my child. Uh, arrest him anyways. He didn't hurt nobody, no child. He saved Angie from another man who was trying to force her into his car. So what you're saying is that he was trying to stop someone from kidnapping Angie and Randall was so blind that he beat up the person trying to save his daughter? How did he not see the other person? Beans here, another cow. Okay, he didn't even do anything to you that time. You just pushed him for no reason. Beans here, another cow's trying to cover it up. So you locked him away to keep his ass quiet. Don't play ignorant with me. You know that we caught the real suspect a few months later trying to kidnap another little girl. Yeah, and that makes it all okay. Who cares that an innocent man is still in prison after we caught the real guy? So you're just gonna leave us alone here for the whole weekend? I don't have a choice, girls. Ah, dang it. You're gonna leave us here with, with all these chips and speakers to play music and money to buy alcohol? What are we gonna do? Ugh, I guess I can get my friends to come over, but I don't know what we could do without a parent watching us. Dang it, I mean, if you have to, this whole movie is just them planning for the party at the end and the goth gang planning their horrible traumatizing prank for what you ask? That's right, the, the party at the end. Is this a movie? Is this what they call Call a movie the only interesting thing that happens in between now and when the party happens is these two idiots die but no one cares about them so who cares let's just skip to the party at the end wow this party is Pretty wild. <laughs> now guys, if you guys are gonna party this hard all night, I'm gonna have to call the police. <laughs> In fact, I already did. Uh, they're on their way, you guys better get out of here. So is this thing gonna go on for all eternity? So glad this whole movie leading up to this moment was just some setting up for this party. It was really worth the wait. Um, uh, glad you cleared that up. But you are a musician, right? Oh yeah. I play the bass, I play the piano, I play it all. Wow, that scene totally mattered. I can't wait to see these characters develop more as we continue this movie. Spoiler alert, they don't! So Angie, is today really your birthday? Yep. Yeah. The big one nine. Why would she lie about that? What a stupid question. You're at her freaking birthday party. So our two little goth rats get ready to perform the dumbest prank in the world. That's probably only going to scare, scratch that, traumatize one person at that party. So she puts on her Mr. Jingles makeup, but then she sees her two good friends. And I gotta say, they haven't looked more alive. If you laughed at that joke, may God have mercy on your soul. Yeah, come on guys, stop laying around on top of each other like you always do. Also, would you stop decaying and smelling like a dead person? <laughs> He's just like, that chick totally ripped off my style. Surprise, girly girl! <laughs> Look what Mr. Jingles has for you! Aw, a knife to the back. You always know what I want, Jingles. Hey! You see that out there? You see guy out there? Yeah, there is. 
It's just the other side of those bushes there. They're just some. Knock it off, you little This isn't funny. Hey, Vsauce, Michael here. There is. Where are your fingers? Who? Who's there? Mr. Jingles, of course. So our two brave knights go out and seek what that strange noise was. But then one of our brave knights falls into a pool of what I believe is blood. It's thick. Oh. It kind of looks real. Whoa, that was actually a really well thought out jump scare. And good things never last. Okay, if I talk more about this god-awful film anymore, I'm gonna go into a cardiac arrest. So basically, the rest of the film is just death, death, kill, kill, until the big reveal of Mr. Jingle setting up Angie so that she looks like the killer. But don't worry, because the Terminator helps her escape before the police can throw her into the loony bin. He's never gonna stop, is he? Come with me if you wanna live. Come with me if you want to live. Setting up for a sequel that will never happen, because as I said in the beginning of this video, they ended up rebooting this movie. So I guess they'll never catch that malicious killer clown, Mr. Jingles. That's exactly what I'm counting on! Hello, f***ers! <laughs> So that was Mr. Jingles. I really hope you guys enjoy this kind of different style video. This is also the beginning of Horror Month. I have a bunch of stuff planned for the month of October, so I hope you guys are really excited for that. But for now, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. But again, there is another apology. Jeez, I've been making these apologies in almost every vid now because a whole bunch of crap happened in my life recently, like the move, flying to Texas, etc. But this time, my excuse for this video taking so long to come out is that my computer exploded. So I got a new computer, a better computer computer that won't explode. So yeah, that's why this video took so long to come out. Also, these videos take so freaking long to make. So having this stuff happen doesn't really help me out much. But with that all said, I really hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll see you all next time. Peace.